And there you have it. And this is why um, I predicted in the car that we would definitely concede to this team. I thought it would win 2-1. Obviously, even that was wrong. And the pathetic samples of performances just carry on, really. I just want the season to end. I wish today was the last game of the season. Absolutely embarrassing. This is one of the worst teams in the, in the history of this fucking division. One of the worst teams in the history of the Premier League. And we come here and they get a draw out of us. Huddersfield Sands think, Champions League, you're having a laugh. Man City, they're laughing at you. You're fucking shit. In the end, United fans were singing, we're shit. Unbelievable. I spoke to some Man United fans even before the game coming up and saying, you know, don't put neg negativity out and stop saying this and stop saying that. At the end of the day, the fans will have their opinion and we'll keep getting it. But this just shows why a lot of fans are so upset and so, so pissed off right now. I mean, you can't be happy with that. You can love the club for all we like. And the reason why we're so upset is because we do love the club. I mean, from the start today, we were comfortable. You know, people were saying we're playing really well. And even I was like, well, it's against Huddersfield. These guys are rock bottom. We should be peppering them chance after chance. And I, I never had any confidence that we would. But going 1-0 up from, um, you know, a, a decent Mc McTominay shot. But let's face it, the keeper should have saved that. Push on from there. This is a team that's already relegated. You know, they showed a lot of fight today. They're not even fighting for anything. They're down already. And we was lackadaisical. Phil Jones, I don't know why he started this game today. I couldn't, couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Why? He gave away a chance at the first half, um, which they should have scored, to be honest. It should have been one all, and it wasn't. Um, we go in at 1-0, which was lackadaisical. Um, yes, Pogba hit the crossbar from a header. But other than that, we didn't lay siege to the goal. The midfield was slow, lethargic, boring. We come out second half, more of the same, and Huddersfield just grew in confidence and wanted to hit us on a counter-attack. And that brings us to Huddersfield's equaliser. One long ball over the top, which wasn't the first time it happened. It was a time when Lindelof was, uh, the ball went over his head and they were in as well. One ball, one ball. Where's our shape? Um, the same thing happened against Everton from our own set pieces. It's like we haven't learned the, the counter and then they score. Why are we not setting up right? Luke Shaw, at the end of the day, everything in Pems has taken it well. Luke Shaw's got the whole flight of the ball. You can see where it's going to go. All he has to do is wrap his foot around it and put it into touch. Completely misses the ball, leaves David Haye one on one, and he slots it underneath. We went on to have chances on there. I mean, Chong coming on was, was fantastic for, for the United fans and, and, and all of us involved, uh, every, everyone involved at Man United. He was a bright spark when he came on, nearly scored, looked bright, wanted to get onto the ball. You saw when Herrera came on as well, the game kind of changed when him, him and him and Chong come on. I don't know why Matic started. I don't know if Herrera was ready to play. I don't know why he didn't start. Chong, I would have just started him. We've been crying out for the youth. We saw what he'd done. He'd done more in flipping the 25 minutes that he was on than Rashford's done in the last three months, you know? Rashford, he, on Rashford, I, he's been bad since the PSG game, in my opinion. Uh, his head's just been down. He's been running into cul-de-sac, running into blind alleys. He's not confident. And more of the same from him, as that's what we've gone on to see. The lot came on, he tried, he huffed and puffed, but in the end it just wasn't good enough. McTominay, I thought, was probably our best player today. Um, he got on the ball where he could, he fought hard and he, and he did want it. Pogba, unlucky not to score, hit the, hit the, hit the upright um, twice today and it's a shot uh, towards the end, I really thought he would have scored that. But in the end, it really doesn't matter. You know, there's people talking about maybe top four, this, that, and this is why I said I'm not even looking at the table anymore. I wasn't even confident from the jump that we could come here to their last Premier League game at home, I believe it is, and put in a performance and get the win. Wasn't even confident. I've been proved right, and I hate being proved right when I think something negative, but that just shows the level we're at. Oli's um, is, 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 is pre-match stuff when he was talking about the teams behind us. I didn't really like that. Talking about the likes of Wolves and Watford and, and, and um, the, the Leicesters of this world, that they're going to be looking to chase, chase the pack and break into top six. We need to be looking at them. I want to hear him saying we're looking at Tottenham, Liverpool, City, these teams, you know? So frustrating, and he's, he spoke about having to work with the players that are here. He spoke about that a lot, and I get that. You need to improve players, but we need. there's a lot of players who aren't good enough. You can coach them all you want. You can coach Phil Jones, you can coach Ash Young, coach Chris Small, and all these type of guys, Matic, and you look at Arcus, they're not going to get any better. Really frustrating. Last away day of the year. Um, I tried to pick out some highlights from the away days this year in the Premier League, because there hasn't been many. Um, I, I, you know, I was going to say Tottenham away, but I'm just so down at the moment. I don't even want, I can't, there's nothing positive to talk about. That's been the end of the away days. We go again at Cardiff, um, at Old Trafford, should I say, against Cardiff in the last game of the season. Please, Ollie, just put all of the youth out. Hopefully Greenwood's going to be back fit again, which he said he should be. Play Garner from the jump, play Gomez from the jump, play, play um, Chong. You can see what he, what he did when he come on. Just play the kids, man, and, um, and put Fred Pereira in there. And if the players like De Gea and Hogbo want to leave and stuff, I'll leave them out too. You know, it, it, it's just horrendous what's, how far we've fallen from grace. I just want the season to be over. That's my match reaction, guys. I'm, as you can see, I'm royally pissed off. And 
you see on the fan cams, uh, sometimes people try and play victim to the fan channels and, and, and blame us for bad results. So these are the same guys singing ollies at the wheel when we're going 10 on beating. So I'm not too fussed about that. We're still going to keep, you know, it's all about their opinion as well. And I understand they're not going to like what we do, but that's not going to stop us doing it. It's all about giving fans a, a voice. And so long as fans keep coming to us and want to have their say, then that's what we'll do, man. Keep enjoying the content, even though the performances on the pitch are really bad. Peace. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, Like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.